The Killbuck Savings Bank proudly sponsors the Mount Vernon News Game of the Week. Serving you better with offices in Apple Valley and Danville, Killbuck Savings Bank specializes in community banking. It's what we do. It's who we are. Every single day. In the Killbuck Savings Bank Game of the Week, the Senator Trojans have a tall task of trying to stop the red-hot East Knox Bulldogs. In the first quarter, both teams battled for very few yards. The East Knox defense kept the Centerburg offense from going. The Trojans were not giving any easy yards to the Bulldogs. Donnell Marshall provided a spark for the Trojans on his 15-yard run. And Jack Gregory finds Alex Johnson in the open. But that drive was short-lived. The Centerburg drive was short-lived and East Knox took over. Caleb Gowitz tried to start the ground assault for the Bulldogs, but the defense was just swarming. At the end of the first quarter, it was still a 0-0 game, but Caden Lester found Weston Mulek down the middle for a 31-yard touchdown throw. With the ball back, Centerberg fed Donnell Marshall the ball, and it paid off. Gregory finds Sam Henson, setting up Marshall, who dodges tackles and keeps moving 26 yards for a Trojan touchdown. East Knox, on their next possession, drove the field, and just before the half, the ball is tipped and intercepted by Hayden Sutton. East Knox would start the second half with the ball and went to work as Gowitz tears off 80 yards for a Bulldog touchdown. Donnell Marshall kept breaking tackles and racking up yards, but it wasn't enough, and East Knox took the ball back. Caleb Gowitz went to work putting in great field position for Lester to hit Cade Leach down the sideline. Centerberg found themselves deep in their own territory and Gregory takes a big sack from Ian Tola. East Knox Weston Mielich blocks the punt, putting the Bulldogs within striking distance. But the Centerberg defense held strong, forcing the East Knox to just a Cade Leach field goal. With the ball back, Centerberg's Gregory throws an interception, and East Knox Raymond Snyder dances around, trying to avoid a tackle. Two penalties on the interception push the Bulldogs back into their own territory. And the mistakes added up as Gawitz fumbles the ball after a hit by Trey Kedrick. The Trojans took advantage, and it's Gregory to Donnell Marshall for a 22-yard touchdown. On their next drive, East Knox goes down the field, and it's Galwitz up and over for the touchdown. The Trojans would go three and out, and on their next possession, it's Galwitz again from 16 yards out for a touchdown. The Bulldogs remain undefeated with a 38-14 victory over Centerburg. This is Joshua Morrison for MountVernonNews.com.